Hey, Kings and Dragons, Ryan King 551. We are back with another Michigan football breakdown video. Um, Michigan goes 11 and 0, beats um, Illinois. Um, and yeah, personally, I just did not feel very confident about this game, Michigan. Remember, I explained in my previous videos about football, guys, there are two mindsets. There's one or just a mindset where you cannot believe or get in that mindset where you believe that you are going to win. Don't worry about the spread and stuff. Go out there, ball, play your game and stuff and win. And Michigan won 19 to 17 in a very close game against Illinois. Uh, Blake Corum went down with an injury. A uh, knee injury. Hopefully he's all right. I mean, he did play one down, and then they kept him out for the rest of the game. But uh, I think he'll be back next week against Ohio State. Obviously, this is the Ohio State week countdown. Ohio State is eleven and zero, and Michigan are um, and Ohio State are both two and three as the two to um as um two of the top five teams in the country. And pretty much, you know, people need to stop comparing both of their games. Oh, why did Michigan do so well against? Um, Penn State, but Ohio State only beat them by 13 points. Why did Michigan struggle against Maryland, um, but Ohio State beat them by 13 points? And it's like, well, who cares? I mean, stop trying to compare that. So sometimes it's just the way that the game is played that day. Sometimes they play better than um, the other team, and it is what it is. But anyway, let's go through the stat line, and let's talk about this. So this was a game where J.J. McCarthy technically had to win in the fourth quarter with his arm to get his guys back in it. Um, ultimately, I just did not like the way we played today. Um, yesterday, sorry, I don't know why I said today. But um, guys, this video is coming out Sunday, so obviously it would be yesterday, but whatever. The point is, is that 326 total yards, 376, 178, 208, 148, 168 rushing, five yards a carry, five yards a carry. I, I'm sorry, five yards per play. I don't know why I said five yards per carry. 21st downs, 18, five for th 13, seven for 19, 0 for two, three for four, 64 total plays, 74, five punts, four punts, four penalties, four penalties, zero fumbles, one fumble, zero interceptions thrown, and zero interceptions thrown. Time of possession, Um, Michigan held on to it more. Now, many of you might be asking, where did this turnover came from? It's when Blake Horn went down on an injury and stuff. So I don't really consider it like a bad turnover because, you know, it was an injury turnover. So that's that. Now let's look at, um, again, let's look at this. So you got DeVito, 21 out of 30 throws. Not bad, 178. Then we got over here, McCarthy, the same thing. Zero sacks, though. No one had a sack. No one had an interception. Um, 18 for 34, 208. So he didn't, again, he's not having, he's not throwing well. And Blake Corum had one TD and um, averaged six yards per carry before he went down. So he's playing well. But again, there's no, there was no Donovan Edwards. There were a couple other guys out. You know what didn't help though? Our wide receivers kept dropping the ball. So as we go down to the final stat line here, here we go, guys. Time of possession again, total yards, passing, rushing, first downs, penalties, one turnover, zero sacks each. 64 plays, 74 plays. So that's that. So let's just go, let's just go through this game. Um, and let's just go through. So the first play of the game, we got Blake Corum bounces outside. Excuse me, pardon me. I'm gonna go right past you. Thank you very much. Not uh, much more to say. Oh, and JJ McCarthy takes a leak, uh lick on that. Sorry, I said leak, lick. Uh so let's go back on that play. So as you can see on this opening play here. You just got everyone moving. Um, got a good block here. You got a guy coming this way. Get one of the blocks. Ronnie Bell coming outside, trying to block someone as well. Give it off to Blake Corum. He's patient. He takes it, cuts through, comes through, and just keeps going. And then McCarthy's able to get up to um, there and help him block in. Um, that's that. So let's go... Uh, just beautiful blogging there, and, you know, just great, great play. And McCarthy, boom. Great play there by um, Blake Corum and JJ. Just gives it right on him. He's patient. He breaks it, cuts up field. Boom, boom, bounces off players. Boom, good block by Johnson there. And then McCarthy tries to get him a blog as well. Good throw by Ronnie Bell there, and Ronnie Bell makes a couple of man miss. 
See, this is what I'm talking about. McCarthy needs to use his arms. So let's go back on this play. He looks left, he, he sees it, he's looking that way. And then he just gets it right off to his receiver, catches the ball, and just runs a beautiful route there. I like it. Good protection, good play. So, excuse me, Marty, I'm going to give it to Ronnie there. Thank you very much. Ronnie, just making people miss. Now, McCarthy throws again, and he throws a nice little um, out route there to his tight end. Beautiful route there. I like the way that he throws that. You know, good route there. McCarthy under trouble, but gets it off to his man, Loveland, there. And that's a beautiful pass. He takes a lick there, but, I mean, he fakes it to Blake Corum. He's got good protection there for the most part. This guy, this Illinois guy, is shooting through the hole. Um, he is shooting through. Right here. I mean, he is shooting the room, and he's going right for him. But, you know, McCarthy's patient. He says, all right, all right, let me be patient. Then he just fires right to this guy right here up top and uh, gets it to him. And, you know, beautiful pass and says, excuse me, me. I'm just going to give that screws it. Oh, I'm sorry. Not that guy. I do not know why I was looking at that guy. Um, I'm sorry. I meant... Loveland underneath. I think it's him coming across this way, or it's this guy right here. No, I think this is all offensive lineman, so it's this one right here. I can never tell on some of these plays, guys, because, you know, sometimes the route confuses me too. So just give it right off the Loveland. He says, excuse me, pardon me. I'm just going to grab that. Thank you very much. That's a big play there, my um, Loveland. Beautiful play. Carthy gives it off to play Corum and Blake Corum. They push the pile, baby. Carvey on um I formation. Gives it off to Blake Gorham. Touchdown on third and goal. And I apologize for a stupid ad. Hate when ESPN does it. But yeah, touchdown my um Blake Gorham there. Way to go. Little child in the crowd. Kid. Just runs right in the room and pushes the pile, baby. That's a touchdown. Thank you very much, Blake. Now, we got Illinois here. As you can see, we got a four-man rush. One, two, three, four. Oh, and also um, Morris was not playing today, so that was pretty bad. But they, they're resting him for Ohio State. Um Good rush here, but, you know, put two middle linebackers in the middle. Guy down here playing off him. You had a guy down here playing way too much off, but uh, it is what it is. So let's just move on to the next play. Beautiful throw there, but, you know, I mean, that is what is catastrophic. Guys just breaking out of arm tackles and just tackles. Carfee in trouble. Sets off a nice screen to Blake Corum, though. A beautiful play there. And Blake Corum just goes right down the field. Bada bing, bada boom. And I do not know why he stepped out there. I mean, he could have got more yardage and potentially another touchdown out of that. Not really sure. Just good blocking there. I mean, sends Blake Corum in motion. Waits, waits. Finally gets it off. And, you know, a good block by his offensive lineman. And then lets go and says, I'm done. I'm done. I can't do anymore. Stokes in trouble, but he's able to get out of it and make a good play there. Like the way he um bounced it outside there. Good play, good play by Stokes there. You know, he just run he runs good play. Um and you know oh wait, that was Ronnie Bell. I'm sorry. New play, sorry. Good pass by Ronnie. A good pass by McCarthy there to Ronnie Bell. Hangs on to it. Um, but I think he got it short. Fourth and one. They go for it. That's a first down. And they gave it to him, but um, we didn't get anything out of that drive. Beautiful hit. Beautiful hit. Let's see what we got here. Another, uh, they're just shredding right through our defense. I'm hoping that we can play better against the run game next week. Hopefully we can do much better. Good pass attempt right there, and he caught that. Beautiful play there, my um, number seven. That That's a good play. That's a good catch. 
end around play. Not always the best idea in the world. I mean, and but he's able to pick a first down up out of it. And, you know, they're moving the ball pretty well. I do not like when they show replays, though, on ESPN. They do not need to show me the same play twice. Now, they'll kick a field goal with four minutes left. Pretty much this game went into halftime. We went into the second quarter. We went in seven, th um, seven to three. Um, just not getting anything going here. You know, give it all to Lake Horum. Let him do his thing. Shit, some tackles. But this is probably the heart. Um, Loveland just goes right outside and then uh, good blocking, you know, send guys in motion, let guys pull. And then, you know, I mean, Carthy in Rommel and he gets it on to Ronnie Bell. A beautiful pass there. Ronnie Bell, Mingin Blaze. Oof, he got to absorb that hand a little bit better. So we go to the third corner um, to take a field goal. Obviously, they're not going to show the fumble in this, but 10-3, you know, do your damage, do whatever you got to do. But, I mean, it is what it is. Um, And then they're just able to score a touchdown out of this, tie the game right up, no tackling there. I do not know what happened on this play. Let's go back on this. I do not know how he got through all of that. I mean, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys, and no one can tackle him, and he just goes right. And that guy just goes right through the whole entire hole, cuts through, and just gets a touchdown. Wonderful. Nice job. That's that. I mean, let's continue here. Just cuts it. Oh, excuse me, Marmy. I'm going to go through, break through all of those tackles and just get a touchdown. And then I'm going to celebrate by by being arrogant and stuff. Don't worry, Michigan shuts them up, though. And, uh, you know, it happens. But I, I do not know how he stays up and is able to get in there. Um, Really, really irritating, but it happens. McCarvey knew here he's back to the row. He's in Drummle and gives it off to Gash, though. Gash running down the field on a nice play there. Beautiful play there by Gash. A nice another screen play there, but, I mean, if he just gives that block, maybe Gash is able to get out there and get a um touchdown or out of it, but he can't. This guy just mosses. St. Ristel is not able to get it. I mean, and then this guy, number two, I mean, just runs right through our Neemans again and uh, is able to get a touchdown out of it. And, you know, I do not understand how we um allow that to happen and stuff. Uh, just Chase Brown guy just gets it, um, just cuts through and gets good blocks and stuff. He just cuts through. I mean, no one there, and, you know, I, I don't really know what happened there. Now a punt here. Fourth quarter and one. I mean, Ronnie Mill cuts up field. He runs. He's got a block. He's got another block. He's out to the 40. He's out to the 50. He's out to the other 40, and he's at, dropped at there and takes out some Illinois players while he's at it, too, on the sideline. Just a great play by Ronnie Mill there. I do not know where A.J. Henning is. He was injured, too, and stuff. I do not understand why we always have injured players. Every other week, there's always someone injured. It's Every week, there's always someone injured. I mean, it's ridiculous. I get that it's a physical game, but come on, man. This is ridiculous. Jake Mooney kicks a field goal. It's good. A 
McCarthy here now got to win with his arm. I mean, he has got to win with his arm. Gives it off to Loveland. Loveland's got a big lane. He's going down the field. He's got man. He trucks him. Another great play there by McCarthy. See, some of these routes are good. You do some crossing routes, you know, you give it off to McCarthy there. I mean... Jake Moody again here. Two for two. No, no I'm sorry. You know, I, I don't know why I said two for two. Three for three. Oof, that ball got batted in the air there. That was a terrible play. Now, guys, previous to this, there was a Cornelius Johnson play where he like caught it with his elbows, and it kind of scuffed the ground, but they gave it to us anyway. Uh, 13 seconds left in this game. What are you going to do? Jake Moody kicks it. And it's gone. And making it 19-17 with nine seconds left. Oh, man. And that is where Jake Moody needs to be clutch. Four for four for the day. Oh, man. What a play. What a Jake Moody day. Doing what he has to do. Go out there and ball, man. Final play of the game. Throws a Hail Mary. It's up for grabs. It's incomplete. Michigan gets out of there with the win. 11-0. Yes, sir. So there you go, guys. Michigan wins. Goes 11-0. Um, get ready for Ohio State next week, guys. Um, be on the lookout for a hype video because I will be putting one of those out for the Michigan-Ohio State game. Um, but that's all I got to say. So until next time, guys, don't forget to stay radical. I'll see you in the next one. Um, and as they say in the big houses, my shirt says, go blue, baby. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys on November 26th after the game or whatever. And uh, we'll see what happens if Michigan wins and doesn't get knocked off um, to defend their title. But that's all I have to say. So until next time, guys, don't forget to stay radical. I'll see you in the next one.